We're moving on to our final example over quadratic applications, and this last example involves writing equations when given of quadratics when given certain information. So let's start with our problem. This particular problem says, Presley kicked a soccer ball into the air across the field. The soccer ball reaches a maximum height, and I'm gonna use my highlighter, reaches a maximum height of 64 feet, let's change here, two seconds after the ball was kicked. The ball hit the ground four seconds after it was kicked. Okay, we're given some information here. We know, just based on previous problems that we have seen, if we're talking about maximum height and we're talking about seconds, we know we're talking about height versus time at this point, right? Height versus time is gonna look like this. Height in feet versus time in seconds. Height in feet versus time in seconds. And we know when a soccer ball is kicked, a golf ball is, you know, hit, we know that the, the path of the ball is going to look something like this. It's going to be some type of quadratic, right? And what else do we know? We know that the soccer ball reaches a maximum height of 64 feet two seconds after it was kicked. So that vertex right there is going to be two seconds after it's kicked, the ball reaches a maximum height of 64 feet. We also know that the ball hits the ground four seconds after it's kicked. So four seconds after it's kicked, the ball has a height of zero. And obviously we're gonna start time zero, height zero. We're asked to find the equation for the quadratic that models this situation. We need three points to find the equation of a quadratic. What three points would you use? I would obviously use that vertex, so 264. And then we know that 0, 0 is a point in this quadratic, and we know 4, 0 is a point in this quadratic. So now we're going to go with um, just kind of what we know. Some of the things that I like to point out, we are given in this situation, we're given the vertex. So if I wanted to write this equation in vertex form, it would look something like this. Y equals A, we don't know what that is, but we, knew, we do know that the vertex moved right to and up 64. How would I write that in vertex form? Right to is X minus two squared, up 64 is plus 64. So we've got a portion of our quadratic written, okay? What is the variable that we need to find out in order to finish this problem? We need to find a, okay? So if I'm, if I'm looking for a variable and I know a point, um, I can just take those X, that X value and that Y value and I can plug it in for X and Y and find my missing variable. I'm gonna use the easiest one that I see, which is zero, zero. Meaning when I plug in zero for Y, I can plug in zero for X. And then we're just gonna work this out and solve for A. So zero equals, the first thing I'm gonna do is zero minus two, which is negative two squared. And then at the same time, um, and then plus 64. And what I can do actually when I am solving this, I'm gonna kind of condense some steps in here. Um, I'm solving for A. I'm gonna go ahead and subtract the 64 from both sides right here. So I get negative 64 equals, and then I'm gonna also go ahead and do this right here. Negative two squared is four, so four times A. So when looking for the value of A, if I divide both sides by four, I get A equals negative 16. So now if I wanted to write this in vertex form, it'd be y equals negative 16 times x minus two squared plus 64. And this is in vertex form. And if you wanted to, you could convert this to standard form by just 
x minus 2 squared, then multiply it by negative 16, then you would add 64. And if you want to do that now, you may. I'm going to tell you what that standard form is. You should get y equals negative 16x squared plus 64x. And that's in standard form. So if you wanted to practice um, converting from vertex form to standard form, you know, this is the answer that you should get. Negative 16x squared plus 64x. So let's move on to the last and final um, thing that we need to do. It says using the equation at what times is the ball 48 feet in the air? At what times is the ball 48 feet in the air? Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this equation right here and I'm going to plug in 48 for y, right? We're looking for when y is 48, what is x? So negative 16, x minus 2 squared plus 64. And I'm using vertex form because I can, um, I can just manipulate it easier, right? So if I'm solving for x, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 64 from both sides and I get negative 16 equals negative 16 times x minus 2 squared. And now I can divide by negative 16 and I get 1 equals x minus 2 squared. So I really like this because at this point when you have like the entire thing on one side of the equal sign is like parentheses with the um, exponent of 2, I can just undo that at this point. So how do I undo it? I take the square root of both sides. So we actually get the plus or minus, right, square root of 1, which is plus or minus 1 equals x minus 2. So I have two solutions here, right? I have, if I add 2 to both sides, one solution is going to be 2 plus 1, or one solution is going to be 2 minus 1, right? So I'm adding 2 to both sides but that's two plus one or two minus one. So let's figure that out. It's gonna be x equals two plus one is three or x equals two minus one is one. So what does that mean? That means at 48 feet in the air, the soccer ball hits that height at one and three seconds, right? So let's actually draw this on our graph at one and three seconds. So we know that this um, vertex, right, the axis of symmetry goes to the vertex and then 48 feet in the air, let's just say it's right here and you'll have to forgive my parabola, right? So let's say this is 48 feet in the air. What we're saying is this at one, at one second after the ball is kicked, the ball is 48 feet in the air, it reaches its highest point and then at three seconds, the ball is also 48 feet in the air. So let's talk about properties of quadratics. That axis of symmetry, right, everything on, it's like a mirror image, what's on the left and what's on the right, right? So if my vertex, if the time is two, then one second to the right, or, you know, one second higher, is gonna be the same height as one second to the left, right? Or one second before, right? So 148, that would make sense, right? 148, 264 highest point, and then 348, right? So um, that concludes your notes over quadratic applications. Uh, there were four problems. I know they're long. That's why I separated them into different videos. I hope this was helpful.